Welcome to Nutshell Maths, where we do maths in a nutshell. Today we are doing difficult questions. Uh, the whole point of this series is that I do a question that I've never seen before, uh, live for the first time, and you get to see how I go through it, the, the problems I face, and hopefully the solutions that I come to. Uh, we've got a complex number, a level, NCA Level 3 complex number question here from, I think, 2006 paper. Um, it's a locus style question and we'll get straight into it uh, we'll start the timer we'll turn this off boom boom and let's go so find the locus of the point representing z if z plus i over z minus i is purely imaginary okay i've turned my cam off simply because um, people have told me all you get to see is my balding head so let's do it right uh, with these locus questions uh, the first thing I always do is I, you know, you should always start with let z equal x plus y i, right, or x plus i y, or whatever way you go around. Um, so let's do that and then kind of follow our notes. When I see this purely imaginary part, I'm thinking uh, we're going to get to a part where we're going to have the real and the imaginary parts, and we can set the real to zero. Um, that's where I think the question's heading, but let's kind of have a look. I've done quite a lot of questions like this before, but not for a long time. So I'm replacing z with x plus yi. Right, so we've got that there. It's purely imaginary. So, if I group the real, group the imaginary, let's see what happens. Because we have to do this division at some point too. X plus Y, uh, sorry, Y plus 1. Uh, my brain's just thinking that. So I pull out I as a common factor there. X plus Y minus 1, pull out i as a common factor. Cool. So to do this division, I'm going to have to multiply by the conjugate over the conjugate, right? Let's do this with a little red pen. x minus y plus 1. Oh. Yeah, that's right. But no, it's not. x minus the conjugate of the bottom this is one of those questions where you have to be really careful because everything kind of looks the same. Look how similar everything looks here. And if you're not careful, you can make an easy mistake. So let's do this multiplication. Ah, yeah, this is gross. This becomes x squared on the top. I'm doing this top part. Uh, minus x y minus 1i then this part goes plus I'm just being very careful like that yes and the last part minus all the i squared so we're going to make that negative 1 isn't it but I'm going to go like this just so I don't lose you y minus 1, like that. So I've done, I'll get my little laser pointer, I've done this, yep, I've done that, yep, I've done that, yep, and I've done that, yep, cool. That's all over the bottom part. Again, be very careful, x squared, x times that, minus x, y minus 1, i, Good. Minus. I've got lost here. This one is that. That times that. Not minus. Plus. Oh, yeah, of course. These two cancel, right? Boom, boom. Which you always expect when you do the conjugate of the conjugate. And then the last one squared. So it's minus. Again, I'm going to use the i squared. Y minus 1 
y minus 1. Right. Good. I'm just, I'm just checking everything because the last thing I want to do is get lost in this. This is the sort of question where you just get lost. Right. Let's follow that. x squared. Uh, I'm going to leave... Uh, let's... Uh, I can't decide whether I want to expand this or not. Let's go like this. There, for now. Plus x i y plus 1. I'm sure I need to expand at some point, but I'm going to do this i squared. i squared by definition is negative 1. So this negative i squared becomes plus y plus 1, y minus 1. Yeah, I, I probably just should have expanded some stuff on the top, but let's x squared. Again, i squared is negative 1, so it's going to be plus um, y minus 1 squared. Right. So more cancelling. I can see it coming. Right. There, there's probably a quicker way to do this, but I'm just going to expand everything and cancel some stuff. That was just my cam. Sometimes my camera, my cam dies, but that's okay. Right. Expand this. Minus x, y, i. Expand this plus x i plus x i y or y i. We should keep the plus x i. Yeah, look plus y squared plus y minus y minus so it cancels minus difference of two squares minus one all over squared, first one squared, first times the second double, and last one squared. Yep, cool beans. Let's see where this ends up. I'm going to drop down a page here. x squared, we've got minus xy, these two cancel, poof, poof. The next two combine plus x i, well this is plus 2 x i, plus 2 x i, plus y squared minus 1, x squared plus y squared minus 2 y plus 1, cool, and let's just rearrange to make it kind of look nice, x squared plus y squared, oh, I'm going to put all the real components and the imaginary there, all over uh, x squared plus y squared. My brain was just going, I'm going to have to separate the real and the imaginary. That, that's why I hesitated there. So if I look up at my question now, because I've kind of hit this this lull in my, in my working, right? And I'm kind of thinking, wh where does this go? I don't really have an equal sign anywhere, which is kind of worrying. And that's where this last piece of information comes. <coughs> Find the locus of the point representing z. If all of this, this whole division we've done, is purely imaginary, which means the real component is zero. So if I separate this, I don't like that minus 2y. Am I sure that's there? Yeah, I guess so. If I separate this, the real parts, all over... that plus the imaginary parts 2x I know this looks worse but it'll be okay it is purely imaginary therefore purely imaginary therefore that whole front section must be equal to zero Oh, look at this. This is just going to all disappear. Which means I have to multiply this whole piece up there. x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1. All can times, and it'll all cancel. But I'm going to put a little star here, because when you do this, you've got to be careful of what's on the bottom. Because right now, I'm looking at this. Right now, 
this is not allowed to be zero. If you made this zero, the crap hits the fan, right? Because then you're dividing by zero. So I'm just going to put a note there. x squared plus y squared minus 1 equals 0. Oh, there you go. There's a locus. x squared plus y squared equals 1. So it's a circle. Circle at 0, 0 with radius, I mean 1 squared is just 1 anyway so it doesn't matter of 1 right now I'm happy with that, it, I, I think that's right but what we need to do is just do we need to be careful about this part that's where I've left this note here I mean normally they don't care so I'd put in like a if I put 0 here Let's just explore this for a second. So I'm happy here. I could stop the clock and be kind of happy. But let's explore this. I might just do it out to this side here and see if I run out of room. Uh, x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1. If I set this equal to 0, I can explore values for x and y that will be 0. right? x squared plus y squared minus 2y. Mm, not really sure where I'm going now. Oh, let, let's. I can see a quadratic. Like, look at this. But that's not really helpful either. Like, y squared minus 2y plus 1. Ah, but if x is 0, then, yeah, add to make 2 times to make 1. That doesn't seem nice. Oh yeah, 1 and 1. Minus 1 and 1, right? Y minus 1. Y minus 1. Then this would happen. Therefore, Y equals 1. So, therefore, Y cannot equal 1 at X equals 0. Right, let, let's draw this. And see, I'm on 12 minutes. I'm feeling okay with this. This would look like this. The coordinates of each of these be uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1, and minus 1, 0, right? These four things. But we cannot have y equals 1. Ah, so this point can't exist. Uh, so circle. Let, let's let's add a note here. But does not exist at zero one. Oh, that's clever. I like what we've done there. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna stop the clock. Put my cam back on. Boom. Oh look, my webcam's broken. I promise you it's live. There you go. And I think that's it. We can check the answers. I've got the answers here. Uh, let's open them up. Right, here's the answers here. Uh, we've got. Ooh. Oh, no, that's okay. Locus is a circle, center 0, 0, and radius of 1. Oh, look, we have almost textbook answered this. I'm happy with that. Look, hence locus is a circle with center 0, 0, and radius 1 excluding the point 0, 1. Let's look at our working here. I know, I know that's kind of hard to see. There you go. Circle at 0, 0 with radius of 1, but does not exist at 0, 1. Award E to students who do not provide exclusion. Ah, so I would have got E anyway. So I would have E for this sentence here, but I'm just flexing with the sentence here. Cool. Right, that's us, and there you go. That was uh, a difficult question.
two pages are working. I'm pretty happy with where we went. Um, hopefully you learned something. Um, yeah, good luck if you're trying some hard questions. Uh, that was Nutshell Maths, and we just did Maths in a Nutshell. Easy peasy. Have a good one.